uh, director of the NAACP uh, Center for Health Equity. Uh, Dr. Purnell, uh, your reaction to this abortion decision in Idaho, um, is this a kick the can kind of moment for the court? It most certainly is a kick the can um, kind of moment. While a technical win, this is not a victory for reproductive justice, and it's not a victory for health equity. Why? Because it does not change. It doesn't change the fact that there are maternity care deserts in Idaho and 36% of counties across the United States. So what that means is that women's health continues to be imperiled. It means that the federal law is imperiled. And as long as that is true, the stats that we know that one in four Native American babies are born under these types of con conditions where there is a lack of appropriate care. One in six black babies are born under these conditions where there isn't a lack of appropriate care. The Supreme Court missed an opportunity. I agree with Justice Jackson. This was a moment for the Supreme Court to decide clearly and compellingly in the favor of the universal rights of all people, especially women, and that didn't happen. All right, uh, Dr. Purnell, I, I also want to bring in Kristen Hawkins. She is the uh, president of Students for Life of America. What's your reaction to this decision? Sure. Well, I think President Trump, the GOP, needs to take note. Uh, the Biden administration continues to make the case to weaponize federal agencies to make abortion a federal issue. But we also see a silver lining in this decision today. Um, if Idaho, while this is tragic, saying Idaho must allow for abortions to prevent infertility, future infertility, the FDA must now change its policy, too, to do the same, given their no-test online distribution scheme of chemical abortion pills, which we know harm women's future fertility, as 15% of women of our population are RH negative, and there is no testing now because of the Biden administration and their FDA on these dangerous chemical abortion pills. If she's having these pill abortions, isn't mifepristone, she's not being tested hasn't for RH negative Haven't the status, experts said that mifepristone no is safe to to for women term. to use? But haven't, haven't the experts said that it's- any woman who's RH it's, negative. RH, ask anyone, excuse me, ask someone who's been pregnant, sir. When you're pregnant, one of the first things they do is they test for RH negative status. Because if you have a miscarriage, if you give birth, no, if you get Ms. an Haw accident, Ms. Hawkins, I, if you I have, have to, an abortion, you have to be treated immediately. I'm sorry, Mifepristone has been proven to be safe. It's been that way for years, but, but thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. No, uh, it actually we, we want to go to a quick break. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.